Hello creatives of Emeril here. In this video I'm gonna teach you how you can achieve this poster design. It's very easy. It's using the liquify tool and the displacement tool in Photoshop. So yeah, be sure to like this video if you haven't yet and subscribe to my channel because most of you guys that are watching are not subscribed to my channel yet and that's a no-no. And I really encourage you to subscribe to my channel because I'm on the road to 1k subscribers now, I'm almost 750. Let's jump right into and let me show you how you can achieve this final design. So we are going to start with a black canvas you can create a new layer and press U on your keyboard and then select the color black in here and then drag a rectangle and cover your background then center it and it's just like this okay now let me just press this so I have this liquefied test liquefied text so this is the text okay so duplicating all the layers this is 591 by 1109 and after you're done doing this just convert it to a smart object and you'll have basically this layer like I do right and then I've applied this is the design with the text and now you are going to go to filter liquify and have fun so this is the final result and now I've created another layer with a rectangle using the rectangle tool and then put the layer above my text layer and then hit Control alt j on windows and it's basically created it basically created a mask as you can see we can change this to where you would like where do we want to but one tip life hack that I want to share with you before this don't leave this things like the letters like the liquefied letters to be like this because it won't look like really good really professional let's find a space where we don't have like those kind of mistakes and now I've created another text layer with the same word creative and then applied some displacement on it you go to filter distort and displace horizontal for my document I will put 15 and 15 stretch to fit repeat edge pixels and then embed file in embed file that data in smart object and then click OK and just choose your displacement then repeat the process until you achieved your desired effect mine will look like this one and then I created a duplicate that hasn't been displaced that much so you will basically you can understand the word creative that it says creative in here the next thing that we have to do is to make this one like the same size and then click OK. Now you just have to add some text to make the whole design more dynamic, more interesting. And then, yeah, maybe I can add my Instagram account in here. Now I've added a texture from my texture pack, which is available for purchase. Link will be in the description of this video. It's a film grain, film slash grain texture and then I've added some scratches as in like old films old photos and I will teach you how you can create this type of scratches so you basically select your brush put size 1 pixels and shift and X on your keyboard to create a white brush and then you just go basically like this until you like you're <coughs> pleased with the final design let me see opacity you will change the opacity to around 50%, 20%, it depends on your document size and your personal preference, right? So let's play with this one or this, it's the same. Let me delete this for the sake of keeping all layers arranged. And now in the end I've applied a color lookup, which is like this. So you go in here, I don't know the name of the menu, and then go to color lookup and for my design i choose drop blues and you can play with uh, with all of them until you have achieved your like personal favorite and this is basically it guys it's that simple it's it's really easy to to design and you can play with it as much as you want the 
project file if you want to download it it will be available in the description of this video i will put a link in there also my texture pack will be available for purchasing in the description of this video be sure to check that out also don't forget to like this video if you enjoy the content if you if you enjoy this poster if you enjoy the tutorial subscribe to my channel and tick the notification bell and all that good stuff and yeah guys thank you for watching once again and i'll see you guys in the next one stay safe and create more. Bye.